Python is one such uh, programming language which is extensively used in machine learning, data science and for all kinds of uh, data analysis as well. So uh, that's the reason like Oracle about a few years back, I would say about um, 2018 or 2019 is they, they introduced um, an appropriate uh, Python package which can interact with the Oracle database because uh, the database Oracle database is one we have all the structured data in place for any kind of analysis so that's where uh, like for unstructured data yeah it will be residing elsewhere it could be on NoSQL or it could be on websites whereas as for the structured data it has to be on the uh, RDBMS that is relational database and um, generally uh, people for all the machine learning or data science or for that an motor analysis because they will use uh, some kind of a process to analyze the data and um, that's where there is a limitation prior to 2018 there is no way python can interact with the oracle database so they introduced uh, this package called uh, cx underscore oracle where it can um, interact with the Oracle database and execute uh, all the uh, statements. So recently, I mean, um, I mean that is about a year back. Recent, since a year back, Oracle introduced uh, uh, Oracle DB, a function called um, Oracle DB Python hyphen Oracle DB, which is a kind of a replacement with the CX Oracle, so that they can still interact with uh, the Oracle database. In fact, it is much easier just like using connecting with a SQL client. It can interact with the uh, Oracle database and retrieve the data um, from the database or you can even store the database uh, in the um, Oracle database. So this is a kind of a Python Oracle DB driver uh, for Oracle database. So this is a recent edition. They introduced uh, uh, I think about 20 later half of 2021 or 22 and now this is used extensively. Uh, as far as uh, the Python interaction with the Oracle database is concerned. So if you look at it, um, this is um, pretty straightforward. You need to have the Oracle database. So I would here recommend to use the Oracle Cloud. It has a free tier. So you could use the Oracle free tier account. So you don't need to have the Oracle database. Install Python. Uh, you could use the Oracle Cloud instance, which has a built-in facility for a free tire um, virtual machine so a virtual Linux machine so you could have even the Oracle Linux 9 version and then only thing is required is this one so the install Python DB that is what is required you need to do so it's also a pretty straightforward Python um, pip install will do the necessary install on the um, in your Python environment so once you do that uh, all the other steps are pretty straightforward you can even uh, create a Python. There is a reference code uh, to which uh, you could do this. And this is for probably if you want to insert the data, uh, it imp you have the command over here, import Oracle DB. That is what the um, the Python library you are going to uh, invoke. And then comes the connection, uh, connect string. Uh, the DSN is the your connect string one. Um, if you are using the Oracle Cloud instance, you can get the connect string from the autonomous database. And then you have the, um, then it says the print, the once it is successful, print the statement and then it says the cursor, open the cursor for the connection and then um, it starts executing. Here it is creating the table and then comes the inserting of the rows and uh, finally, uh, once it is done, just trying to print out all these statements. So this is as far as if you want to create a table and insert it into the database. So first this, that, this one and the next one is uh, you can also retrieve what is there in the database using the uh, similar kind of a functionality. So what I uh, actually I have the, as I said, I have the Oracle Cloud instance, autonomous database, which is a free tier. So I'll show you um, uh, post connection. Um, we will then execute this program and see what happens. I have logged into the cloud instance, uh, Oracle Cloud free tier. I've created the database Oracle uh, DB. This is a free tire I've created. It's available up and running. I'll get into this and then uh, go into, uh, you can even have a web SQL um, where you can connect to the database. 
Uh, you can also connect to through the SQL client version of a SQL developer also. That's also possible uh, with the uh, with the autonomous cloud database. So uh, what I will do is I've already uh, I'm in the admin um, schema. So what I will do is I will drop this table, drop table no item. So I will drop it because the script I ran it earlier. That's where it created this one. So I will drop it. And as I showed you, um, I have a Python script with the Oracle DB. Uh, so uh, we are going to invoke a connection um, to the autonomous database and then create this table uh, and then insert the data into that table. That is what we are going to perform. So just to uh, cross verify whether uh, the table is I mean, dropped or not. Should have dropped. Yeah, there is no table here. So uh, now let me connect to the um, the Linux environment where I can run the Linux script, uh, execute the Python script, I mean Py Python Linux script so that the table is created and the data is inserted. So I'm in the uh, Linux environment. Uh, this is in fact Linux Oracle Linux 9 version. And if I do a cat, cat is for uh, typing. I mean it will print out in the um, in this um, display system. So this is the script I have. Okay. So here is the script. So import uh, the DB, then the connect string user ID, password, and the DSN, and then uh, print connect successful, and then it creates the table first, and then it inserts the data into the table, and finally it is going to um, print the data. So let's run this uh, Python script and see whether the table gets created and then the data uh, is getting inserted into the database or not. So it's so table insert pi. So I'm going to run it and yeah, so table created successfully connected to the Oracle database table is created Firo inserted. So now we can query check whether the table is created and the data is inserted or not. So now uh, let me refresh this and see whether the table is created or not. Yeah, the table is created to do item and you can check also whether the data uh, is inserted into the table or not uh, to do item and then execute it. Yeah, here it is. The uh, data is inserted um, into the uh, table, uh, whatever we try to uh, execute. So that way, uh, think of a situation like um, if you have a data, unstructured data into um, in some, because normally in these kind of uh, machine learning or data science, you might have different source system in which you need to capture all the data and put it into the database for further analysis. In that case, Yes, you need to use the Python script so that uh, you can insert into the uh, data which is collected data into the Oracle database and then do your analysis. And that is where this um, this um, Python library that is Oracle DB is going to be helpful. This is as far as the creation of the table and um, inserting data into the table if your data uh, is on a flat file. And what if, if there is a data and if you want to retrieve, do a select with the Python script, whether that is possible. Yes, that is also possible. You can write a, a script, Python script, through which you can select the data that we will see it as well. Now let us look at the second part. That is to retrieve the data from the Oracle database using the Python script. So this is the table we are going to use in the SS schema countries and we want to retrieve the uh, data present in this table using the Python script. Of course, using the Python library, we'll be using the Oracle DB as well, which is already uh, installed into my um, virtual machine. That is the Oracle Cloud virtual machine uh, in the in the Oracle Cloud. So here is my s simple Python script. So initially, it is going to import, and then have, I have the connect string, and then I have the cursor open. And then execute uh, the select query, and then I store the result into this um, variable, and then for loop, I'm just going to print it. 
pretty straightforward and simple one. What we are trying to do is we are trying to use Python script to connect to the database and retrieve the data. So let's uh, run this program that is um, Python retrieve. Okay, uh, it should be Python retrieve. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. So it needs to retrieve that uh, data from that uh, table that is sh.country. So here it is. It is able to retrieve that data. You can cross verify in the database. So this will be the same data um, in the database as well. Uh, so you can verify that as well. So that way using the Python script to connect to the database is now far more simple just like using the SQL and uh, these days it is essential particularly if you want to get into the field of uh, machine learning or data science because mostly uh, people tend to focus on the algorithm part in machine learning or data science. Uh, even the um, the teaching is around if you're taking uh, any course in data science or be it in machine learning the course revolves around the algorithm of um, various uh, algorithm like uh, regression um, and so on and so forth um, many of the algorithms they will teach different algorithms they will teach how to process the data but then getting the data structuring it is altogether a different ball game and that is where the all the technical skills is required you need to be good in the oracle database you need to good in uh, the uh, programming language like python you need to be good in the cloud infrastructure as well so you need to be and um, on the technical side you need to be good so that it will make you a complete professional uh, i hope uh, you had a good understanding as how to use the python script to interact with the oracle database thank you